Currently, it's just at a research level. Um, we're doing a lot of targeted next generation sequencing. And again, with the ELN uh, classification being recently updated and increasingly being uh, molecularly genetics based, particularly for mutations that are associated with uh, myelodys myelodysplasia, such as splicing mutations, uh, now entering the ELN classification. There is a, a category of AML with myelodysplasia related genetics or mutations, I should say. Um, and that defines a relatively unfavorable risk group that otherwise would have been invisible on the prior classification. So it's better at identifying the patients who really do need the potential benefit of transplant earlier in the course of disease who might have been treated with chemotherapy and you wait until a relapse before you see that um, for the old classification. So we're, we're generally steering those patients earlier to transplant for the potential benefit it might give them over chemotherapy.